Hi everyone. In this video we will create a contact form where user will be able to fill the form and upon submission an email will be sent to us containing the data provided by the user. We will build this form with Next.js and for email handling we will use SendGrid. So first of all let's create a Next.js project. So it's done, now navigate into the project directory and we will add two more dependencies. Okay, so let's build the form first. We need three fields, name, email and message. So here I will add a div with class of input container. Input text and name attribute will be name. And I will give it a class of input. Also add a placeholder. And this time it will be email. And finally a text area for message. and then a button okay now i will add some css so style is global.css so it's a container class which we use here and then input container and input itself and finally button container and button itself so now let's run the server So that's our basic form, name field, email field and then message field. Okay, so now we will integrate SendGrid. So in this API directory, remove this hello or let's just rename it. I'll call it contact.js. Now here first of all let's bring the packages we installed earlier. 
dot env and send with mail require dot env dot config and then const as gmail equals to require at send it slash mail now here at the root level create a dot env file here we will need send it api key from email to email and now let's bring those values from env file And finally we will call sended mail dot set api key and we will pass the api key all right so now let's set up sended so go to sended.com you need to create an account or login if you already have one all right so now here click on settings and then api keys click on create api key give it any name uh, which is easy to remember and then click click create and view and in our .env file paste it here now this from email should be the verified sender which will be the email you provided when you create the send rate account and this to email will be the email address where you want to receive the email I'm not sure if it works with the hotmail or not because I have some trouble with hotmail so I will provide gmail here this is my verified email and this is the email where i would like to receive the email and now in context.js export default it will be an asynchronous function and request response let's destructure name email and message from request.body now i'll create an object const message equals to and it will have two which will be your two email field from from email this will be the verified sender and this will be the recipient email and now subject and then finally html and second will be email field and finally message now we will call await sgmail dot send and we will pass this message object 
and finally res.json success true and now in front end let's import user state values set values name email and message now let's destructure these fields from values and here this name attribute value will be name value email and finally value will be message and we also need on change handler so on change handle change function and we will create this function now And here we will call set values we will spread out existing values and then target the specific value by this name attribute and now actually let's set form tag here and here on submit we will call a function handle submit which we will create now First of all, let's prevent the default form behavior of form submission. It will be an asynchronous function. So now await fetch and the URL will be localhost colon 3000 slash api slash this file name contact method will be post and we also need to provide headers content type application slash json and finally body we will stringify the data okay so i think that's it let's save it and restart the server Okay, looks like form is submitted. So here is the email we just received, name, email and message. So that's how we can capture the data provided by the user and receive it as an email.